All right, welcome to our week of prep sports chat. Sports editor Jeff Kuhn along with high school coordinator Keith Dunlap. Keith, we're moving on to week four of the high school season. All right. And we have a good classic matchup this weekend. Let's start from the top and tell and us we, what you have. Well, yeah, classic matchup. Try the best matchup, uh, or best rivalry in the state pretty much. Uh, Novi Detroit Catholic Central, Birmingham Brother Rice. Um, storied rivals. I don't want to say hated, but heated is probably a good word to uh, determine it. Uh, they're going to play Saturday night uh, at Southfield Lathrop, always a packed house. In fact, funny story, uh, a few years ago I covered a Brother Ace Catholic Central game, just to emphasize how many people there are there for these games. The 50-50 winner took home $4,000 that day. Generally, 50, generally, generally it's talking. like $100, $200. The 50-50 winner at the Catholic Central Brother Ace game took home f literally four grand. So that's how... Uh, that's how packed and how, how uh, much attention is normally placed on this game. I mean, you got two coaches combined, I think, that had 84, 85 years of coaching experience. Mm -hmm. Al Fracasa, I think, is in his 43rd or 44th year. Tom Mack of Catholic Central's, I think, 33rd. And it's, uh, it's, it's again, the story of two teams that won a ton of state championships. And, they could um, field a team of NFL guys from yeah, oh, most man, two schools. Man alive. And so, yeah, that should be a... Again, like you said, a classic matchup. And what's sort of strange is Brother Rice has won four straight meetings. Unbelievable. It'd be, uh, that's rare in that rivalry to have one team reel off that many wins, and so they'll be gunning for five straight wins. So it'll be a get there to Lathrop early if, uh, if you want to go to that game. What did Cosmo say on this game this week? Uh, I don't know. What did Cosmo say? Uh, I'd have to. I think he had Brother Rice, right. but I don't know. I didn't, I'd have to, I'll ask him, and maybe we'll, next week we'll say if he's right or not. See so. if he's right or wrong. Eat some crow or whatever. Any other big games this weekend? Things to keep an eye on? Um, not really. Um, in at least I think week one was a big week, and I think next week will be a big week of games too. I guess you do have a rivalry game between Wall Lake Western and Wall Lake Northern. That'll be uh, pretty interesting. And other than that, there isn't any first place showdowns or, or real. Uh, oh, I take that back. A big game. Another big game Saturday at one o'clock. Boy, I can't believe I missed oh. this. Waterford Mount, Waterford Kettering. Why they're playing in week four, I don't know. It's really ridiculous that they're not playing in week nine, but whatever, it is what it is. And uh, so the two Waterford schools will go at each other and it should be a fun afternoon for the community. Speaking of uh, football and competition, high-powered uh, rivalries and so forth, one thing Pat Caputo noted last week with uh, football this year is scoring is way up. Uh, any theories as to, on your part, seeing the games, why that's happening? Uh, well, maybe I think early on, one theory, I don't know if how much weight this carries. Maybe the weather's a little warmer, so a little easier to uh, throw the ball. And um, especially with these newfound spread offenses, that seems to be the rage. People are, uh, you know, they have inclement weather to, to stop them from throwing, and defense just hasn't quite caught up to this, mm -hmm. especially in high school. I mean, it's hard to coach kids on, on playing in secondary and uh, or things like that. And, I mean, they're, they're more concerned probably with uh, with, with offense, with right. scoring touchdowns and whatnot. So they don't, I don't think defenses have quite caught up, although I think they will eventually. Um, you know, other than that, you know, maybe some lopsided matchups is a bigger reason, too. You have good teams playing bad teams early on. Um, and But, you know, we'll see maybe once later in the year, once the weather gets colder and more emphasis on the running game, and you get some better uh, later season games that may, that may drop down. They drop down a little. Any other sports, uh, things to keep an eye on this coming week? Actually, yes. This upcoming Wednesday, believe it or not, is the annual Oakland County Girls Golf Tournament. Um, that's going to be at Pontiac Country Club. A little unusual that it's on a Wednesday. Normally they have that on Friday, but whatever. And uh, probably be the Rochester Invitational. <laughs> Rochester, I, can't, I don't know. This, I think they've won it four out of the last five years, something like that. And they uh, right now appear to be the state's best team. Uh, last week they won the Eccentric Tournament just Actually, it was two days ago they won the Eccentric Tournament, just played lights out at a tough course. and So they're heading above shoulders right now above anyone in the state. So they, they're a heavy favorite there. So Keith, always a pleasure. Keep Absolutely. up the good work. We'll Likewise. do this again next week. Uh, reminder to everybody, parents out there shooting games, videos, tremendous contest going on where shoot your football play of the week. Go on to the miprepzone.com, scroll down to share video. Send us your video. The best play of the season gets uh, shown on the, uh, what do they call it, Megatron scoreboard big screen down the there. Big lines, yeah, it's big, real game. big. So uh, we're looking to all the help that we can get to get this going. Jim Martinez behind the camera is uh, 
you know, put together some plays on our own that we shoot. Um, who knows, maybe we'll get one of Jim's plays up there. But um, anyway, keep it coming. Be sure to check us out uh, every day. Live stuff updated at the end of the night at mipprepzone.com. We'll see you next week.